In this lesson, we'll talk about proxy shading. To begin with, let's import a proxy. Click on that tool here in the toolbar and navigate to the proxy folder that came in the assets folder and find the tree.br mesh proxy and go ahead and click open. Then go ahead and click to set it down and hit the escape key and zoom back so you can see the proxy there. Next, let's go ahead and start an interactive render. You'll see here that this tree is rendering pink. Let's take a look at what's going on. We'll click on the V-Ray Asset Editor. And in the V-Ray Asset Editor, click on the Materials tab. And again, we have the material list here. So we can see several materials here that came along with the proxy when you imported it. Click on the Flyout menu, and let's select the first tree material here. You'll notice that there are a couple of different texture slots. So this is a multi-material, and some proxies will come in such that the sub-elements, for example, the trunk, will have its own material assigned, and the leaves will have another material assigned to it. Notice too, the names of these materials are the same ones we see over here to the left. So the material list will contain a full list of all materials being used, including the ones that are eligible to be used as part of this multi-material. Let's go ahead and change what's going on with the trunk. To do that, we see that it says submaterial zero here. So over in your material list, click on submaterial zero, and you just change the diffuse color. In this case, I'll switch to a brown. Next, let's change the leaves. So that was submaterial one. I'll click on that diffuse color, and I'll change those to a green, and then close that down. Now, of course, you could continue to change those and adjust how those colors looked until you got something that you liked. And then when you're all done playing around with this, you can close this down and you can close this file down as well and open up the other file that we gave you here and try to use what you just learned to adjust the materials for the bush multi-material. If you fly out your menu here, the flower plot material and the tree material, all multi-materials that you can change the same way you just learned how and then go ahead and render it and see how it all looks with your changes applied.